guys, what is up? Endermans Gaming here, back at it again with a, a video. I'm super excited for today because I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to survive in Minecraft and, you know, ju just how to play the game. So, yeah, let's get straight into this. I'm going to skip till I get to... Right. So, now we are in the Minecraft part. Lives in a pineapple. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. We're playing Xbox One Edition. So first of all, you're going to want to create a new world. You're going to go into create a new world. You're going to press. Uh, you're going to make your world. Uh, we're calling this one tutorial. And then what you want to gonna do is you, if you don't have Xbox Live yet, or if you're just starting and you... Sorry about that. If you're just starting the game and you don't have Xbox Live yet, um, you're going to just click on this online game off. But I do have Xbox Live, so I'm going to keep it on. You're going to head over to more options, go to game options, and click host privileges. I'll tell you guys why that's nice later. Then you're just going to click. You're going to select survival um, because I'm teaching you how to survive. Survival and difficulty will be easy. And then uh, you just want to click create new world. All right. So once you've spawned, what you want to gonna sorry, what you're gonna want to do, what you're gonna what you want to gonna do, is you're gonna find the nearest tree and just start punching it. This is gonna get you wood, and uh, yeah. So once you have about two pieces of wood, you're gonna head into your inventory, find the kind of wood that you've got. And just click A. So you get four of whatever planks. So I got spruce planks. There's jungle planks, cicada planks, dark oak planks, oak planks, birch planks, and spruce planks, which I have. So you're going to, then when you're done getting your stuff, you're going to want to click into your inventory again, do a crafting table, and one, and a bundle of sticks. Just want to, going to click into your crafting table, and then you got all this stuff. What you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to go hack one more, head into your crafting table, craft your planks, click over here to tools and weapons. You just do that with the right bumper here, right bumper and left bumper. So once you're done with that, once you're done clicking over here, you're going to want to go and hit the axe. So now you can mine a lot faster and uh, get stuff done way more efficiently. Just like that. And if the tree is too high, just move on to another tree. So what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to keep hacking at these trees. To around 30 wood, your axe is going to start running out. So you're just going to head right back down to where your place is. You're just going to craft those spruce planks or whatever the heck you have. And uh, you're going to get quite a lot out of it. You're going to get probably a stack or two stacks at the most. Two stacks is just as... 64 which is the max you can get next what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to go and just kill stuff so you can get some food um sheep are definitely the most valuable because you can use their wool to get a bed to make a bed so if you have a lot of sheep close in close proximity that's good that's great go get yourself some sheep so once you're done with your little freeding frenzy, freeding frenzy, yeah, once you're done your freeding frenzy, no, once you're done your feeding frenzy, uh, you're going to want to just come to the nearest mountain with stone and uh, set down your crafting table. You're going to want to find stuff uh, called coal, and it looks like this, and that's going to be able to power your furnace, which will cook your food so you don't get food poisoning, so you don't actually get hungrier. Um, when you eat, it's just really horrible if you get food poisoning, so, yeah. So you're going to want to get quite a bit of this coal. Um, good hint, if you find a vein of coal, it usually has quite a bit of coal in it. If you find, like, a huge vein of coal that you can just see from the outside that has a ton, probably going to have a crap ton more on, on the inside. So, little... Minecrafting pro tip for coal and stuff. You're going to want to head back down, break your thing, 
and uh, you're just going to want to, like I said, um, in this same mountain, because there might be coal, like you can see here, there's coal up there and right there. So usually there's some in the wide open, but sometimes you'll have to go into a cave, which is a little bit risky. But once you're done um, getting the coal, uh, about 12 coal is good. You're just going to want to head and just dig into the cave, preferably, preferably, sorry, I can't speak. Preferably, 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 preferably in a spot that has stone. The reason you're going to want to be in a stone vicinity is because it's harder to break. And so if you're fighting stuff and you have a dirt hut, then you might break the dirt and you might break your house and you might die. So nobody wants to die. So, yeah. So once you've figured out your little hut thing, just like this, you want it about nine squares so you have enough room for your bed that you will eventually get. Um, once you're done getting the stuff, just like this. Perfect. So once you have um, probably a three by three hole, a three by, okay, whatever. I don't give a freak about dimensions. Just get a nine hole like this, and then um, head into slap down your crafting tables that you have, like so. Put all your food and stuff that you've gathered in your inventory like this, so you have a clean uh, bar. You're gonna want to head over, go to the crafting table where you see the crafting table, and just click down here and click furnace. The furnace is um what cooks your meat for you and what you can use and what you uh fuel you fuel it with coal so once you're done with fueling with coal you're gonna want to head over and cooking your meat you want to gonna you're gonna want to you're wanna gonna head over here yeah you're gonna want to head straight back into your crafting table go over to where you see the door and then just find your wood of door i had a spruce door so I'm just going to go over here, slap down three doors because I feel like it. And then um, I'm going to get some of this cobblestone that I picked up. And then just, just like that. So that's how you get your first hut in Minecraft, just like this. So now what you're going to want to do is if it's still daytime, that's fantastic. Uh, what I would recommend doing is putting a lot of torches around your house like so here i'll show you in a second once i can get this freaking thing right and you go like this nice and pretty just like that you're gonna want to ah you're gonna want to head back into your um little hut and uh, you're gonna want to pick this up stick some more stuff in then head into your crafting table you're gonna want to go over to tools and weapons once again and go down and click or you're gonna want to craft some sticks because you probably forgot about it. anyway um you're gonna want to go down and click on torch coal so then you can fill your um space with torches like so and then now you're going to want to go back into tools and weapons create a stone pickaxe a stone axe and a stone sword what you can do to get rid of the uh, wood weapons that you might need to use later is you can just craft a chest, click it down, and uh, just dump all the stuff that you don't need for now later. Um, for later, we will get into organizing your chests later, but that's not what we need to do right now. You're gonna want to put all the stuff in here because if you die, um, then you can just quick come back here. Or if you're hungry, you can just come back here and you're only losing a couple of tools. But while it's still daytime, you're just want to gonna come out and then just go on another feeding frenzy and then just go and kill all the stuff you can to get food. Um, like pigs. Pigs are really good to kill. Um, pigs, sheep, and cows are what you mostly want. So yeah, I'm gonna... So just stay out here hunting until dark and then uh, don't stray too far from home because if you don't know where your house is then uh, you might be screwed 
So I'm just going to remember mine is by this water right here. And uh, you can kind of look, over, look out on the vicinity of your surroundings. Uh, llamas don't do anything. I actually tried killing. Oh, but they do hurt you. Ouch. They get, they get spit at me or something. So now you're going to, once it's dark and once you've picked up your stuff and you're happy with what you've done, just head back to your house. You're going to know it's your house because there's doors and it's probably the only weirdly shaped door stuff that's anywhere. So yeah. So now your food is probably cooked by now and you're just going to stick what you gathered on your hunt uh, right in there. And uh, then you're just going to want to wait out the night. And uh, I think this is where I'm going to stop my first video. So if this video, if you guys enjoyed this video or if this helped you, make sure to leave a like down below and comment, I like this or this helped me or whatever. Um, and yeah, I'll make sure to catch you guys in the next one. So for now, Enderman's Gaming is out. Peace out, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Guys, guys.